Tom Stafford represented the U.S. and the free world in commanding the mission for detente in space, known as the Apollo-Soyuz Test Project. Commanding the Soviet side of the flight was Alexei Leonov, the first man to walk in space. His flight engineer was Valery Kubasov, with Deke Slate and Vance Brand serving on the American crew. More than a regular space mission, this flight opened numerous doors between the U.S. and the USSR. By leading that effort, the Soviet people became well acquainted with Tom Stafford during preparations for the mission. Launched on July 15, 1975, the Apollo carried the docking adapter necessary for the two craft from different nations to dock. On July 17, came the famous handshake in space. Here. Uh, here. The crews spent time on each other's spacecraft doing experiments, eating, and enjoying the company. The two commanders told the people on Earth their thoughts. This is the results of the determination, the cooperation, and the efforts by the governments of the two countries by the managers, engineers, and all the workers involved. It's been a very rewarding experience. It was a great success with both countries feeling a greater optimism about the future. The splashdown on July 24, 1975 was our last splashdown with the space shuttle already under development. It was fitting that Tom Stafford ended his astronaut career on a mission that ended the first phase of America's manned space flight and also began the thawing of the Cold War, the very thing responsible for the moon race. Apollo Soyuz, detente in space. <laughs>